All right, so tonight we are going to cover off oils in a Fordson, uh, engine, gearbox, and hydraulics in the rear casing. Um, it is a hot topic of discussion on online forums. Uh, people have different opinions of different oils to use. Uh, we'll cover what I use, what's recommended in the book, but we'll get to that at the end. Initially, I want to cover off how to check the oils, where to drain the oils, and how to top them up. So we'll start off with the engine. Down here, right near my toolbox, there is a dipstick straight into the sump. Excuse the light. Don't worry, I'll be changing that oil. Just put that back in. To drain it, we have to go right underneath to the bottom of the sump. If it'll see that plug just there, if it'll focus for me. Undo that. Drain out the engine oil. Uh, being on the bottom of the tractor, that little plug nut might take a few knocks. So be very gentle in undoing it. You don't want to strip it. That'll cause you a lot of dramas. Um, to fill straight in the top right in there pour it in um, now the workshop manuals and books say the engine will take 6.8 liters of oil but if you include the oil that's in the filter that goes up to 7.3 liters um, very strict um, time frames for changing oils and testing oils in the workshop manuals um, recommend you purchase one of those if you're owning a Fordson or restoring a Fordson. Next, we'll move on to gearbox. This is a really simple one. Uh, we have a top plug that goes into there, screws in, and right there we have our full and low mark. Not a lot of difference between what's low and what's full, uh, but again, gearbox is something you're going to want to make sure is adequately oiled and lubricated to prevent damage now to drain it again is underneath and it's in the PTO housing uh, there's a little quarter inch bung in the bottom of that I showed that in the last video um, now the gearbox takes uh, what do we got about 20.5 liters of oil so now we're starting to get up into some pretty large amounts. Then we move on to the rear housing with the hydraulic oil. So we've got the dipstick here, right next to the gear lever. There we go. The drain for that is on the bottom. You can just see the plug there, the lowest point. A bit of oil on mine because I drained the oil recently. Uh, that does go past the mesh filter. Now, if you haven't got the top off like mine here, to refill it, you have to go into the top of the housing here behind the seat. And you can see the plug right there. The rear takes 41 litres of oil. Um, and we're getting quite substantial there. Now, in terms of oils, the old workbooks um, and workshop manuals and that, put it as an SAE 30 grade oil. And that does everything. That does engine right through to hydraulics. Um, really simple to change over, easy to keep an eye on. Now, I use a modern equivalent of the RX Super 15 weight 40. Um, for Australian conditions, that's about a mid-range oil. Um, I went to my local New Holland dealer and spoke to a mechanic there that started his trade on Fordsons and Perkins engines, and he recommended a modern equivalent for me would be the 15 weight 40. Um, it is a heavy-duty oil specifically for diesel engines. Um, but also there is no detergent in it. So a few modern oils have 
a detergent factor to self-clean the engines. Um, old engines, old hydraulics, vintage tractors do not like the detergent oils. Um, so if anything, make sure you don't get an oil with a detergent or a self-cleaning in it. Um, the RX Super is not too badly priced. About $100 for 20 litres. Um, you can get it for a lot less when it's on special. I always keep an eye out when it's on special. Um, there are other oils uh, which closer match the SAE 30. However, they're quite pricey. They're around the $200 mark. Um, for me, this oil has worked very well. Um, again, I've used it in my E27N as well. No issues there. It's a good price, a good product, and it does what I need it to do without doing unwanted things to the engine or the hydraulic, such as... Um, you know, a bit of self-cleaning and dislodging dirt and things like that. Um, so, again, that is the oils within a Fordson Major and an oil that I use. Like I said, it's a very discussed topic online, um, but that works for me. I'm sure there'll be different opinions. All right, hopefully this helps someone. Um, Till the next one.